All right, folks, you caught a muskrat. You want to know what you want to do with that muskrat? Nice, beautiful piece. Uh, we want to get that hide off just like that so that we can use that. It'd be super, super awesome and neat. So I'm glad you clicked on this video. And now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to skin a muskrat. All right, folks, I'm going to show you guys how to do a muskrat. I caught this really nice muskrat. Uh, super, super awesome. Uh, the tools that you're going to need, obviously, a deep freeze. Uh, you can use a pocket knife or just a regular skinny knife. That's what I'm going to use today. And you're also going to need a gambrel, which I have one here. And those are the only items you're going to need. All right, let's get this started. Okay, so how I usually like to do this, um, I'm going to make an, ins an insertion right here at the back Healy's. And there's this white fur and then the dark fur. I'm going to go right along the line to where the the tail hits right here and one thing um and and then i'm gonna do the same thing with the other thing other leg I'm just gonna go right here where my index finger is and i'm gonna go straight and that's gonna be my my insertion okay so i'm gonna do one of them on the table i usually like to do these with my feet uh, it might sound kind of silly but i'm just gonna do one for for the table reference and I will also put out a disclaimer. I'm not perfect, guys. Okay, so I'm just, this is just how Jinx is going to do it. And I'm going to do this for you guys for help. Um, some of you guys are new to this. So I'm going to put this on my channel for you guys that are new. So I don't think I got it. This is why, this is why I like to do it the other way. <laughs> and I like to go right to the edge of the tail. And I'll show the show you how to do it on the other way. And I put it right here. Uh, just like that. Pretty simple. Go all the way to the edge of the tail. The one thing I will say about muskrats is their 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 hide is super super thin, so you can't make um, too many mistakes. And I don't do a lot of muskrats because in our area we don't. We don't have a lot of muskrats, so I'll do a handful a year, and that's about it. And uh, a lot of people don't even use a gambrel, but I like to use a gambrel. That's just me. I'm just going to roll that hide back, kind of like a beaver. Or... Actually, you do these pretty similar to a raccoon. And then I'll grab and pull Kind of reminds me of doing a rabbit. It just isn't much to them. <laughs> All right, now that I, I've opened up my my muskrat and ready for the gimbal. All righty. And then I 
gonna do my best not to get into the organ cavity it's usually where I make my mistakes in the muskrat as I pull too much I just always felt like it was so much easier to hang on the gambrel I'm gonna pull here in a second I just didn't want to open up the belly region oh I got it <laughs> and there it is see that's all right Just pull from here, just like a raccoon. If you've ever done a raccoon before, just a lot of pulling from here. Super, super thin. You just cut it with your knife a little bit, and she pops right open. up the arm area doesn't even have to cut the hand it just pops right off Mistake here of the ear area, you're just gonna have to get underneath it. Got a big ear on that one. The ears are right around the head, you just gonna have to go poke down. Try not to make the mistake I just did. I just made a big ear. Now the rest of the meat and everything I'm going to take off when I skin or uh, when I flesh or when I put on the stretcher. There's the eye area. Same thing, try not to get the big eyes. There we go. Most of it's intact pretty well. Except for that ear. That's the way the ear's supposed to look with the cartilage still intact. It's not too bad, but wish I didn't do that. Other than that, it looks pretty good. You know, finished product. I'm gonna take off my carcass gonna make sure that I dispose of that in a responsible manner legally legal and responsible manner and then I'm gonna either freeze this if I freeze it I'm gonna turn the leather in like this but I'm gonna roll mine like this I meant to say probably freeze it like that and then when I take it out I'll just take it out and I'll put it on the stretcher or I'll st or I might flush it a little bit. Yeah, well, that's how it works. All finished. That's how you skin a muskrat. All right, folks, that was super easy. We just skinned that muskrat. Uh, beautiful, beautiful hide, beautiful pelt. We're gonna sell that in the fur market. Otherwise we would put that up and tan it. And I'll probably have some videos on how to process that for you. So you can see that later, but that was how to how to skin a muskrat. It's pretty simple, and I'm glad you watched that. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Otherwise, click the thumbs up. I'm Jinx, and have a great day.